Hello guys and welcome back to Sherlock Holmes! Today will be the last episode of Crime and Punishment. Reason being is while I will be on the trip, uh, the Devil's Daughter is supposed to come out and I'm going to see if I can't find time to record it while on my trip. However, that being said, we're going to try to finish the case today. And by try, I mean succeed, no matter how many takes it takes. So let's crack on with it, shall we? And I want to make sure everything is good. Yeah, everything is good. We are going to go and talk to the Divine Syndicate, but first we must make some deductions. No? Um... Wow. Okay, apparently the deadly plant stolen has nothing to do with anything. <laughs> White and done. There we go. Clues. White's expulsion, done. New director in Hamish's anger. Uh, let's see, white studies and poisoning. No. Okay, that's what I thought. Now what about this? Nope. And this is all good. Okay, then we have all the clues taken care of. Or had the motive to kill as far? No, I don't know. That's true. Oh. See, I don't like that. Okay, well, guys, see, this is why I say it's a hard case because we really don't have much clues. We are gonna go and we are going to go take care of. The Divine City Kit. We got this, guys. We got this. I just came in from a walk, so I'm a bit tired. I'm hoping all the oxygen will eventually get to my brain and make my brain fire super fast. We are about to see. We are about to see. It's also been a very hot day today, and I want to turn on that air conditioning, but it's loud. Oh, did I not set my timer? This place is beautiful, Holmes. Its atmosphere is remarkably soothing. Let us find someone who could help us. Wow. Ha. Huh. Even the water, the way it splashes, it's so weird. I, oop. That's that movement. That's my window, it distracted me. Oh, let's go down here, see if we can't find someone who's not currently meditating. Meditating or otherwise. Well, I can understand why they would want some plants. Or why uh, they would be very protective of their plants. Oh, what? What do you see? Oh. What's this? Uh oh. Broken Fragments pieces. of a flower pot. It fell down here. A fragment of a flower pot. This is gonna have Kew Gardens. Uh huh. The Kew Gardens symbol. Well, it's starting to look like the Divine Syndicate may have had their hand at things. Locked. Okay. Let's see if we can't find someone then. Uh, can we go this way? I hate to interrupt him. But we do need his help. Good day to you, sir. Uh, my name is Shul. I am exalting the sun. A while. From the trace of elements, and moreover, from the quality of the ambient geotropism, it depends. Therefore, please, mind my gravitropism, its balance, 
Do not disturb. Disturbed is most definitely the word. There. Completed is the symbiosis. Welcome you are. To introduce myself, I shall. I am the Green Grand Mystic. Interesting. The... the Green Grand Mystic? Himself? This is me. Who am I speaking to? We are two gentlemen who are extremely interested in the uh, vegetation philosophy that is advocated by this establishment. Listening to you, I am. Let's do character profile. First of all, tattoo stands out. It's got very nice. Ooh. Practice finger calluses. Huh. Interesting. We should like to take a look around to immerse ourselves in the wisdom that emanates from here. Hmm. It is a school of anastomosis, the divine scholastic syndicate for vegetation veneration and meditation. Okay. Uh, you may say the divine syndicate. Glory to the eukaryotic. Only true devotees, those whose hearts are ready to spermatophize in sharing of knowledge, are permitted to physically enter our vegetable kingdom and its wisdom. And to be permitted, you must earn it. Yes. Gotcha. Uh, do you know Kew Gardens? Do you have friends at Kew Gardens? None. Not worthy there. Oh, fine. Fine, fine. Uh, there was a broken. S Do you have friends at Kew Gardens? None. Not worthy there. Then what of this? Nevertheless, we have seen Kew Gardens flower pots in your yard. How could they happen to be there? What? Our sacred place you permitted yourself to search? Sacrilege. No, really now. There was a theft of plants at Kew Gardens a matter of days ago. And we believe the pots we found here may be connected with it. Please tell us. Were you involved? Mm. No. Those plants were ours. They had stolen them from us. How so? Uh, their director. Dump, I believe. Done. Yes, that's that's what I said. He borrowed from us three of our sisters for the exhibition at his green fly infested gardens. But he never gave them back to us. Excuses and imbecility. So we went in and saved them. I see. So if you stole those rare plants from them, then it means Ah, I get it. Bravo, Holmes. I think the case is solved. No, we did not steal. We saved. Well, as a matter of fact, we were unable to find our three plants. Huh. I beg your pardon. And yet, you took all of the exotic plants from the stand. Wow. They had disappeared. It was the least we could do. They stole our sisters, and so we stole theirs. Green Grand Mystic, we are ready to become devotees and gain access to your temple. What is the name of our Lord, our God King? Our God King's name is Triwan, Green Grand Mystic. Oh, la! Good, good, I like you. Here is the holy key to the wisdom place. Holy donation, can you make whenever you so wish? Thank you so much. I pray you to taste our fertilizer substance. From the oh, burdens yes. of life, it helps to free. Oh, no. Uh, but of course. Raw sap, it is called. It is near the entrance. What a shady man. Well, we will leave you to your meditation. Yes, we will. God, eating too many of the fertilizer. It is such a nice and relaxing environment, yes, but... Alright, 
right, where is this fertilizer? That should be the raw sap that the Green Grand Mystic spoke of. Hmm, this is rather delicious and of an excellent quality. My word, Holmes, their sap is like a form of cocaine. Okay. What's in here in the way? Caterpillars. They are raised as food for certain plants. Let's take them. Huh. Interesting, guys. Because those are the same kind of cap caterpillars. A tropical plant. Nothing of interest. A tropical plant. Nothing of interest. No, oh, but I want to... Oh, okay. Do not touch, huh? These three plants are identical to the ones shown at the exhibition. I shall take them. Ooh, they're creepy. Very creepy. A tropical plant. Nothing of interest. A tropical plant. I don't know, guys. I don't know. A tropical plant. A tropical... Okay, just making sure I get all the clues, guys. That's all. Can I talk to you? Osmosis and photosynthesis. This must be Triwan, the Divine Syndicate's god. This door is locked, but I can try to open it. Let's do it. Ah, easy, easy mode. I think. Okay. There's, I need to find the end piece. Okay. So it needs to be something like that. We're actually gonna skip this one, guys, in the interest of time. Incense and whatnot. These instruments are used for smoking opium. So they were definitely doing drugs. Absolutely, 100%. This substance is an alkaloid, the same as in the bottle we found in the bushes at Kew Gardens. Anything else we need to look for? This cabinet is full of chemicals. They are the same as the ones we found in the laboratory at Kew Gardens. Hmm. Very fascinating. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to take a quick break as I wait for the air to cool down in here so that I'm not so stifling hot. So I will be right back, guys. Hello, guys. And I am back. Uh, yesterday, I was really tired and I ended up lying down for a nap. And then I fell asleep. Guys, this whole move business has been driving me. That would me. be enough to perform the most difficult of chemical experiments. Yeah, see, that's that's a concern. Uh, but that's... Uh... Yeah, guys, this whole move business has got me really, really tired. I know that they oh. a vast amount of opium. Yikes. So they are definitely definitely making opium here. Probably a very high grade of opium. 
Oh, that's right. This is this room. So I guess this would be the opium smoking room. Yep. Anything in this? Nope. We're going to go ahead and switch to first person view just so we can see better. And then we are going to see if we can't find any other clues. Hmm. I'm not sure how I like these people. Oh, hold on. The list of plant friends and benefactors. Lawyers, well-known manufacturers, political leaders. A very powerful, apparently, syndicate that uh, has ties in higher places. I don't know. Let me make sure I didn't miss anything in this room. I don't think I did. I can't remember how they feel about opium either. Back in the day. Some of these plants that you cannot touch, apparently. Okay. I guess that'd be about it. Unless I'm missing something obvious. Then again, the little eye usually flashes when it's when it's time to see something like that. Can I ring the gong? Can I ring this guy? Nope. Okay. It's really nice, but I think it lays it on really thick. This is cool, though. This this is really cool. I think what they did is they bent four trees over until they united into one harmonious tree or something like that. We're going to talk to the green guru, guru guy, see what he has to say, and then we will... Follow my path, and better you will feel. He kind of annoys me. Uh, is there any... I think I've pretty much got everything about the Divine Syndicate. Which is a little disappointing because I expected there to be more and more res uh, revelations. I mean, we did find the pots there. Now they're still missing some of their deadly plants. Or at least from what they flamed. So that's that's really interesting. Hmm. We'll go back to Kew Gardens. See if we can't drum up some more information. Of course I may have to jump to a conclusion sooner rather than later. But let's see. Uh, I don't know. Oh. Let's do that. That'll help. That'll help indeed. Perfect, Watson. We can begin our experiment. In that case, let's alter our path and go to Baker Street. If I can. Let's see if it'll let me. Oh, we do so much while traveling, guys. <laughs> See, if the sex stole everything, then uh, it's obvious that they killed it. However, if they didn't, that means someone else is responsible. And that would bring into question who had the time to do so. Now, did it drop me off at Baker Street? Or, yes, it did. Okay, great. The perform an experiment then. Not you, too. 
Where are the bees? This green, grand, mystic fellow seems rather suspicious, Holmes. What should we do next, Holmes? Stop what you're doing? Maybe? It's embarrassing. <laughs> I imagine that one of these plants would be capable of releasing a toxic vapor. I need to find out exactly how it could be done. I shall begin now. Watson, if you are at all optimistic to have dinner this evening, then I'd recommend that you put on the gas mask. Um. Holy hell. How interesting. What a strong and effective defensive mechanism. Holy hell. I find the behavior of predators utterly fascinating. It's so weird. This plant becomes inactive after being drenched with alkaloid. Okay. Same with that one. This plant becomes inactive after being drenched with alkaloid. It appears to open after being soaked with alkaloid. Hmm. Wait, can, can you put it back? Let's see what happens. There it goes. It, I wonder what secrets this plant is hiding. Perhaps if we agitate it to a greater extent whilst it is opened, it will reveal a little more. I am interested in what might occur if the prickly plant should shoot at it. Okay, well then let's, uh... Okay. So, let's open it and agitate it just a little bit. And place you down. It appears to open after being soaked with alkaloid. Yes, we know. So, if we place the caterpillar here. Toxic gas with spores. Extraordinary. Now you filled the whole room with gas, Sherlock. The plants would be capable of killing only if they were directly next to the victim and stimulated at precisely the right moment. Let us take our caterpillars to the colonial collection room. We may see things more clearly there. It is too early, Watson. Our suspects will be there. Let us investigate Kew Gardens one more time and ask some questions. Okay. Let's do it. But explain why the situation is there. Why the, uh, yeah, you guys get it. Why the plants are missing. Talk to this. Okay. Let's do it. Guys, I'm having a lot of fun. Uh, the, I'm not going to lie. There's been a lot of stress about the move, but I, I, I like this game. I love this game, and I hope you guys remember to like it with me. Uh, I do feel bad that this is going to be the last episode. There is another case, but unfortunately, I'm just not going to have time for it. Um, maybe we'll do a live stream once the official game is out, and we'll just have fun with it. So thank you guys so much for watching and following with me because I, I do appreciate it. And especially Demi, I hope you're behaving yourself. Your dad's coming in relatively soon. Next couple of days, I don't know. <laughs> and Linda, thanks for always leaving the positive comments. And to everyone else that watches, maybe you should comment so I can say hi and thank you personally. Because, you know, that's... um. 
kind of what I like to do. That's why I record on a, uh, oh, someone in there. That's kind of why I record on a weekly basis, so I can get more and more comments. Granted, this has been the exception, because I'm recording in advance. But I like comments, I like saying hi, and just don't forget to say hi in the comments so I can say hi back. Before Dunn's death. Can you tell me if you saw Mr. Montague Dunn on the day of his death? Yes, of course. I met him, and we went to see Albert, his son, at around half past nine. He appeared quite calm. Okay, and your activity? What were you doing on the morning of the accident? After paying multiple visits to Albert, I had a little talk with Miss White. Then I returned to my desk to complete some paperwork. Suddenly, I observed that Mr. Dunn was not feeling well, so I ran immediately to fetch Albert. I clearly remember that it was around half past ten, for I was late that morning. Hmm. Thank you, Mr. Hamish. We shall continue our investigation. Of course, you know, someone is going to lie. But... It is through the truth that we'll find the lie. Your father's death does seem highly suspicious. What were your movements here on that day? Suspicious? Well, I was working in the seed house, taking care of a uh, Lysip uh, something, or, or Lear Pontus, or... No, wait. Ah, oh, these Latin names. And I spent so many hours trying to memorize them. Did you see your father that day? Aww. Yes. He came here with Mr. Hamish for his weekly visit. There was nothing unusual about that. And then? Nothing. They stepped out to the backyard. It was perhaps 20 minutes before 10 o'clock. Then about 10 minutes later, I saw my father heading for the dry tropics room while Mr. Hamish returned here. Okay, what about other people's activity? And Mr. Hamish and Miss White. What were they both doing that morning? Mr. Hamish visited me a couple of times. I also saw him returning from talking with Miss White, and that was at ten minutes past ten. But then he ran back here to me to tell me that my father was feeling unwell. We hurried across to the water lily room, and I found my father lying dead on the floor. Oh, my God. That doesn't look good. Thank you, young man. We shall see you again soon. Hmm... Let's talk to Miss White and see what she says. I don't think Albert did it, honestly. I think he honestly did really care a lot for his father. This, this is so pretty. Oh, the trellis, the flowers, it's so pretty. Oh. Colonial collection. Nursery. Nursery. Director's office, cloakroom, and laboratory. Reserve. Palm house. Dry this is good. tropics. Seed house. <laughs> oh, excuse me, guys. Ventilation system. Ooh. Okay. Now we have a map of Kew Gardens. Should I ever wish to uh, replicate it? I can. Uh, she went in here. That's so cool! <clears throat> uh, that's so cool, guys. Let's see if there's any clues I missed back here. Pots, water, oh. A water tank. A ventilation system. It should regulate the temperature of the staff buildings. And there's still the smoking fire. This is such so pretty, guys. Holy crap, this Watson. Thank you. Watson. Watson. You just stay. There you are, Miss White. I have some questions I need to ask you. Let's see if the Divine Syndicate... The Divine Syndicate. Does that name mean anything to you, by any chance? Not at all. But it is a very pretty name. 
Can you tell me what Mr. Dunn was doing upon the day of his death? I can. But there is nothing very special to say. I was in the laboratory when I saw Mr. Dunn heading towards me. Tuesday is the day of his weekly visit. It was supposed to be at nine, but he was ten minutes late, as usual. And then? Well, he came in to say good morning. Then I saw him spend two or three minutes by the plants outside the laboratory. After that, he ran out in the direction of the nursery, where Mr. Hamish was working. He was always in a rush during the inspection, you see. I would pity anyone who stood in his way. And that was the last time you saw him? Yes. I stayed in the laboratory until 20 minutes to 11, when I heard the cries of Albert to Mr. Hamish from the large glass house. I joined them as soon as I could, for I knew that something must be very wrong. What exactly were you doing in the laboratory? I was recording an experiment for my thesis. I only stopped my work once when Mr. Hamish visited me briefly around 10 o'clock. Hmm. Where are your records? You say you were recording an experiment when the tragedy occurred. Might I listen to the role? Well, certainly. Please do. You will find it in the laboratory. It is number 320. Uh, thank you, miss. Sometime later. Everyone has gone, Holmes. The way is clear. Escaping the room. Oh, I see. Deactivate. Okay, inhaling the spores, knocking over that. And escaping the room. Then falling down on the floor. Do I get that sequence? No? Okay. Uh, that seems about right. Or he would have busted down the door. Now the question is, is who set it up? When Montague Dunn was standing close by the plants, the caterpillars were released and caused the deadly spores to activate. Panicking and likely already half asphyxiated, Montague Dunn started back and knocked over the bust. He rushed to the door, but it was locked. He had to force it open with his shoulder. We already know the outcome. Montague Dunn collapsed and died not far from the pool. Well, it is time to perform our experiment on the ventilation system. This reminds me, there was a, a case of the banded snake, um, or something like that, where they were using a call line to train the snake to go down and bite the, the victim. The caterpillars could only fall from the ventilation duct. Our caterpillars are in place. I'll activate the ventilation system so that they fall down. Watson, stay here and observe. All right, Holmes. Why, why is the ventilation system going? The smell is strong. It is a detergent. Window panes, caterpillars, okay. So how do I activate it? Oh, do I need to go? Ah. I see. Hold on. It's starting to look more and more suspicious. Open. Open. Can I control it? From this room. I can. 
We can see the interior of the colonial collection room from this window. Can I press that handle? This is one of the outlets of the ventilation system. So can you close it? So we can see Watson clearly from here. In fact, almost too clearly. So can I, can I pull? No. Okay. What? What do you want me to see? I see the ventilation. Do you want me to track the ventilation shaft all the way back? I can do that. Just a bit of a pain is all. See, because the timing has to be just right. From here, we are unable to see the interior of the colonial collection room. Yeah. This is one of the outlets of the ventilation system. Now, it all really depends on what he had to say. Track it back all the way over here. Open. And start. Okay. Before starting the engine, I need to enable the power supply. The power is on. The engine cannot be started whilst the transmission is active. The engine has started. That confusing. Uh, no. There, okay. The ventilation system is working. So, let's see if... What, is there some sort of clue? No, I mean, it's obvious. What had happened is, or so far what had happened was Mr. Hamish came in to speak to... Miss White about a few things. Uh, she could have also said that, hey, close your ventilation This shaft. is one of the outlets of the ventilation system. Excellent. This ventilation fan is working. Let us see if I can activate the other one. Well, we're, we're about to see. Sorry guys, super focus mode. Perfect. Now I just need to find Watson to check the result. It works perfectly, Holmes. Bravo. Now if you could just help me to get rid of these caterpillars. Oh, but Perfect. they're friendly. Now we know how the murder of Montague Dunn was carried out by activating both Albert's and Mr. Hamish's fans. But only from Mr. Hamish's workplace would it be possible to see when Montague Dunn entered the colonial collection room. Starting to really look. No. Can I unselect it? Actually, wait a minute. We found the deadly plants. Oh. Yeah, I know. I know. That's that's the whole point. I didn't want to assume just yet. Let's go to Scotland Yard. OK. 
Okay, we're going to Scotland Road. Perhaps we need to write out the schedules and figure out what's going on in a closed environment. I don't know. It just doesn't feel right. in Dunn's belongings? No. That's a nice watch, though. It's a really nice watch. <sighs> Inspector, I believe that Martin Hamish is guilty of the murder of Montague Dunn. Aha! I knew it! I'll send the lads around to arrest him. Very good. I shall wait to hear from you. I don't know, it doesn't feel right, guys. The clues don't add up. Said they weren't able to record our cover. Yeah. If anything. See, that's just it, is that we have two people that could do it. We need to listen to Inspector. I came here as quickly as I could. Martin Hamish is in the large glass house. There's no need to hurry. Wait, what? What do you mean there's no need to hurry? Well, okay, fine. Um, record... We need to grab that, that... See, guys, I don't know. That's just it. It's I don't know. He should be able to see it, everything from his office. Where is the laboratory, anyway? Seed house. I know what it says. I wanted you to open it. I wanted to find the wax cylinder. I wanted to listen to it. <sighs> Materials for college study. They belong to Albert. These leather gloves are new and of good quality. They do not appear to have been used. This place serves as Albert's office. A book about ships. Nothing at all to do with plants. No, he's still, uh... Whoops. He still dreams of going to From the sea. Here, we are unable... Where can I see Mrs. White's office, though? I pass it? Maybe. I need to listen to it. It is of utmost importance. A thesis written by Martin Hamish. A glasses case. It is empty. So where is the wax cylinder? 
said it was in the laboratory, but I don't think she has a laboratory. Would it be in Dunn's office? Hold on. Unless we haven't discovered it yet. She wanted to work in the seed house. Okay. All evidence points that, you know, her her stuff should be in the seed house, but I'm having trouble finding it. Is there a back way through here? Not really, and this is dry tropics. Excuse me, Watson. This greenhouse is so large, it's pretty, but it's so large it makes it hard to find things. Ah! This... no, this is Albert's desk. she put the wax cylinder okay guys I'm gonna switch around for a bit I don't need to make this episode any longer than I need to so I will be right back until I guys, find I'm the such wax a derp. it was in the laboratory Here it is. yeah let's listen to it This recording seems very long. It is unnecessary to listen to all of it. Miss White was in the laboratory, as she told us. Hmm. Okay. Then Miss White's good. Alright, he's in the large glass house. Okay. I guess it really was Hamish. I don't know, guys. It really just doesn't feel like it's sitting well with me. Uh, oh, my God. Yes. We found him like that. Our messing around with the ventilation system didn't go unnoticed. Mr. Hamish realized that we knew. Inspector, could you arrange the body, please? I should like to examine it. Reserve. So, Scotland Yard? If he was killed in the exact same way, it has to be white. It has to be white. There's no, there's no other... There's no other way. This isn't it. This is another body that they have out. So back to Kew Gardens. <sighs> Guys, I don't know. I don't know how I feel.
Please continue with the investigation. Okay, fine. Jeez, bossy. I don't know. I don't know how I feel. Could it really just be as simple as Martin Hamish committing suicide? I don't think so. I honestly think that there's some foul play. Alright, so where is the reserve? Let's check the map in here. I hate that you have to go all the way back for a map of Kew Gardens. Where is the reserve? Four. Okay. We're running at full tilt. I can't run that fast. Be cool. Where is his body? The mark around the neck is very visible. He died instantly. Life has become living hell. I find it unbeautiful and deserve to die, but if we can have having this blood, we Amish's always seem to have fallen to victim. Is that it? No. Why are the shoes different colors? Holmes, his left shoe is unique. This anomaly is often a characteristic of... A club foot. Bravo, Watson. That is the key element of this case. Is it? Wait, what? Okay, you're gonna have to explain to me and how a club foot is going to do it. Gotcha. Okay. That explains it. Something about this rings very oddly. Mm -hmm. Why do you say that, Mr. Holmes? Why? Because of Mr. Hamish's club foot. Oh, I deserve to be kicked from here to Charing Cross. I should have noticed it. But, Mr. Holmes, I can't see why. No, I don't suppose you do. You must recall that Mr. Dunn was locked inside the colonial collection room by the murderer. If it was Mr. Hamish, he would have had to run up to his workplace to trigger the fan situated above it, taking into consideration the condition of his foot. Well, it is still possible. Perhaps, but it is rather strange that such a person as Mr. Hamish decided to base his plan on the speed of his gait. Yeah. You mean to say that somebody helped him? So the suicide is questionable? Correct. Mr. Hamish accuses only himself in his letter, and so the investigation stops. Possibly an accomplice, then? That idea had not occurred to me, Mr. Holmes. I have another idea, Inspector. Thanks to the testimony that we have collected, we are able to rebuild the events as they took place that day. With a timeline, such as we did in the Jack the Ripper case. Precisely. It must be referencing the map at game. the entrance of Kew Gardens should help us with our timeline. Okay. Then let's go look at the map at the Let entrance. Let us analyze the facts and statements so that we may recreate the events of that morning. Okay. Half past nine. Met with. Okay. It was around. <sighs> okay. 
observes 10 minutes past 10. So, right around... No, I don't know. Hold on. Around 10 o'clock till 10.40, ran to Albert, had to be the poisoning right around. Okay. Martin and Okay, Seed House around half past nine. It was around ten twenty minutes when ten all right, nine forty. Hamish returned to the seed house roughly right around this time. Um, 20 minutes after 10, Hamish and Montague went to the backyard. Yep. Okay. And this would be right around there. Seems like Let it would us fit. summarize. Montague Dunn was poisoned inside the colonial collection room. He forced open the door, which okay. means that someone locked him inside there at 10.20. So. Martin Hamish was last seen at 10.10. This means that he has approximately 10 minutes to lock the door of the colonial collection room. Given that he was club-footed, it is doubtful. Albert also has 10 minutes to lock the door of the colonial collection room, which is quite enough time. Miss White was last seen at 10 o'clock which means that she had approximately 20 minutes to lock the door. More than enough time. So, who Perfect, did it? Perfect, Watson. Now, let us ascertain who assisted Martin Hamish in killing Montague Dunn. So let's talk to, I mean, heck, I can run across here in no time at all, but Miss White did have plenty of time, granted she did have the recording, I don't want to think of it that way. Let's talk to her about it. They all in the staff room? Excuse me. Find out. Yeah. So, where are they? Let's check here. Sorry, Watson. I know I'm running. Are you guys in here? You guys in here. I doubt they'd be where the dead body is. Oh, this is so pretty. I love this rock. It's a cool rock.
I don't think it's done. Sorry guys, I'm messing with it to see. I don't know, I really don't like this ending guys, but not every murder case is going to be good. She doesn't feel like this type. I think maybe she was saving those golden things for... This is all assuming that I'm right. No, guys, this case has been tough. Let's see what she has to say. But Holmes, how can you be certain that we'll find Miss White here? I can always change it. It is obvious, Watson. Just use your brain. I am using it. I do use it. Now that the rope has tightened around Martin Hamish, Miss White must act to erase all traces of her implication. After the suicide of her accomplice, there is one final trace remaining. The deadly plants of the Divine Syndicate. She will be there. Very good. Shall we go? Just one moment. Now listen to me, Watson. I shall see her alone. You will conceal yourself behind her. Quietly. Whatever are you planning? Nothing spectacular. The impulses of women have always been a mystery to me. But she is a bold one, and so we must be cautious. All right. You can count on me, Holmes. We'll see how she acts. Mr. Holmes, good day to you. You do not seem surprised, Miss White. Well, I was expecting you. Not for too long, I believe. So please tell me, as it is still unclear, who planned the murder? Was it you? You were wrong, Mr. Holmes. It was Martin Hamish, then. You managed to convince him to take on a more prominent role. <laughs> you could not be further from the truth. You think that you can fool me? You don't care what I think. I am not blaming you, Miss White. You are a young and brilliant woman, trapped in a dull and hostile world. Life has never been easy. Men in particular. <laughs> you... It is hopeless. Indeed. Well, it may be true that I cannot yet change the world, but I can spare your life. <laughs> My life? There is nothing left to save. I have lost everything. Do you hear me? Everything! And you? You were just like all the others. 
You would abuse and take advantage of a vulnerable woman. I hardly think so. Now just listen to me. I've tried so hard, but I have had enough. Miss White, no! Okay, can I do something? I beg you not to do this, Miss White. Don't come any closer. Please remain calm. We can help you. Not one step further. Don't try to stop me. Stop this foolishness. You cannot truly want to die. No, it's too late. Done, Watson. She was not faking. Miss White, you have no right to take your own life. Dr. Watson? Did you just save me? Or worse? Desperate woman, victim of society, done cast her aside. She killed him out of pure desperation. I was right. I found all the clues. <sighs> Did we really save her, though? Well, guys, that was tough. That was the drama at Kew Gardens. I do appreciate you guys hanging out with me and, and watching this with me. I certainly hope you guys will press the like button. And next week we should be starting The Devil's Daughter, which should be exciting. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for joining me on this adventure. And I hope to see you guys next time for more Sherlock Holmes. Take care!